I, all my principles are pretty much common sense. Let me tell you, there's, you know, but not everything matters equally. Okay. So a disproportionately small number of things leads to a disproportionately large number of results. This is the Pareto principle. This is the law of Pareto. Most people know it as the 80-20 principle. Okay, well, Fredo Pareto was an economist of, mm-hmm. I think, 1500s in Italy, studied uh, the wealth in Italy. Surprise, surprise, found 20% of the people owned 80% of the wealth. 20% uh, of the landowners owned 80% of the land. Okay. And, uh, you know, uh, let's not get too hung up on the, the numbers. But I believe that this is a law of the universe that you, uh, you know, you disregard at your peril. Uh, and I also believe it can be repeating within itself. So if you go 20 leads to 80, then 20 of 24 leads to 64%. And 20% of, percent of four is one. 1% one leads to 51% of your results. So my mantra with the people I work with, both nonprofits and profits, is find your 1%. Mm. Okay? Because 1% leads to 51%. So, you know, I'll give you an example. My wife danced for Alzheimer's two years ago. She raised $117,000. Okay? She had 134 donors. The top five gave her 80%. Wow. 20% of the restaurants we eat at, we eat at 80% of the time. 20% of the roads in Atlanta, we travel 80% of the time. Mm. It's ju- And, you know, you can get hung up on the 2080. Mm-hmm. It's just a disproportionately small number of things leads to a disproportionately large number of results. And so, you know, this is where it's important to know what are the activities that generate the results, right? And mm-hmm. to focus and, focus and do more of those activities. And the activities that don't generate results delegate or discard 